thing of potatoes. So I've been making potatoes here and there. Kevin loves them. We picked up some of these Caramel Choco soft protein bars, the Bear Bells. Very, very hard to find. I usually order them online, but they had three of them, so we grabbed them. They are 22 grams of carbs, 190 calories. Needed some eggs, so I got a big thing of eggs. Paige got two things of these little pepperoni nuggets. She eats these. You know, she is also low carb. She's lost seven pounds. I told you that. She hasn't weighed again this week yet, but she's doing really good. So she got two things of these. Zero carbs. We needed some sour cream, and that is one gram of carbs. I got four containers of the Good Culture Cottage Cheese with fruit in it. They were only $1.50, so I grabbed them. I really like them. I know I could put fruit on these myself, but to have an easy grab and go, I like to have that. Four grams of carbs. Then I also picked up two Dogtown pizzas for Kevin. These pizzas are really good. They have Prevel cheese on them, which is our favorite. So I got sausage and pepperoni and then a deluxe for him. I also got some whipped cream. This is for me because this is one gram of carbs. This does really good for me when I'm needing something sweet. We needed some nonstick spray, so Paige grabbed that one. Graham crackers. So what I've been doing with graham crackers, 24 grams of carbs for two full sheets. So if I do one sheet and I put a couple marshmallows on it with a couple little Lily's chocolate chips and pop it in the air fryer, you absolutely do have a s'more and it's not that bad as a snack. It's better than getting a big silver spoon and dipping it into ice cream. So. In an emergency, we have that. These are for Kevin. 17 grams of carbs for 27 of these. We also got some bananas because I have been utilizing bananas a couple times a week. Either I did one in a recipe last week and then also I did one half of a banana in a smoothie. Hold on just a sec. I need to turn my stove down. Hold on one sec. Trying to do too many things at once over here. Two heads of lettuce. I'm gonna have some lettuce tonight with my turkey. Paige needed some sugar-free vanilla for her delicious coffee drink. We also picked up some more cans of the whole green beans. And peanut butter palooza all over here. The Nuts and More Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough. Now, Nuts and More I normally order online because then you get all the flavors and you can get the really good powdered peanut butter. But this was in the store, so we grabbed it. It's actually higher in the store than it is when you order online, which is sort of weird. These were two for $6. Can you believe that? At Schnucks. So if you're in the area, if you're in the St. Louis area, that's a really good buy. So I grabbed these. There were not many, but I, I would have got more because that's really a good price for this Skippy peanut butter. And then one more thing, I also picked up the Simply Fruit. All right, so I see Kevin pulling in here just now. I saw his truck go by. I'm going to take advantage of getting some help putting these groceries away. Next up, we're going to be making my absolute favorite really cheesy chicken chili recipe. This is not your normal chicken chili recipe. This is a very cheesy version. So you're gonna start with three chicken breasts that you're just gonna cube up. Now I have already seasoned mine just a little bit. I've got paprika on here, salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic. I toss that in a freezer bag just to get them coated with just a little bit of olive oil. And then I have one medium-sized onion that I chopped up. You're gonna put your crock pot on high. Now, this entire recipe will be typed out in the description box because I'm gonna move through these ingredients pretty quickly. Why, you may ask? Because my camera ate 
part of this video, so I want to make sure that I get the entire recipe to you. Now, as I said, you're going to have this on high, and I like to cook it at this point for about two hours because I want to make sure the chicken is cooked through. That's really important. Sometimes when you put the chicken in liquid, you really don't know if it's cooked through, and a lot of crock pots are not temperature controlled, so this is just a safer way to do it. So do it for about two hours the way you're seeing it. Okay, now here is the entire rest of the recipe, so grab a pen. Are you ready? You're going to need two chopped celery stalks, one packet of taco seasoning, one jar of salsa verde. I think that only comes in one size, so you're just going to dump the entire thing in there. Two cans of fire-roasted tomatoes, small cans. Two cans of white beans or cannellini beans, great northern beans, whatever you like. Four ounces of Velveeta cheese and four ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese. I used the reduced fat. You can use whatever you want. So you're going to dump all of that in your crock pot and you're going to let that go on low for another four hours or you could go on high for three. Now we're on to my favorite part. It's been about four hours so everything is cooked through. I've stirred this through a couple times. You can see that the cheese is all melted and working together. So what we're going to do here is take this little tool and we're going through and we're breaking up all the chicken. So the chicken is cooked through and soft. Very, very easy to break up at this point. You're just going to take this little tool and push through it. Now, if you don't have that that tool, I don't know what that's called, but if you don't have that, you could use a spatula. The chicken will break very, very easily. Now, as you go through and do that, of course, you're gonna be breaking up the beans as well and probably a little bit of the tomatoes, totally fine. It'll just give it that much more of a creamy texture. So you can't go wrong on that, but definitely go through that process because that makes a huge difference in the chili. So we're really done here. I'm gonna let it sit a little longer and then I'm gonna take a little sample out so you can see it. Now I put a tablespoon of sour cream in mine to show this to you, but it is absolutely my favorite way to do a cheesy chicken chili. We're gonna have about 12 to 14 one cup servings. I'll leave the carbs and the points, the Weight Watchers points here, but this one is absolutely a go-to. I hope you enjoy this recipe. I'm gonna be eating this throughout the week. This is the next day. Look at how thick that is, oh my gosh. Delicious. You could even take that and wrap it up in a little tortilla and make yourself a chicken burrito. So, I will see you on Wednesday for weigh-in. And also, don't forget, we have another channel, Living Life Over 50. If you're interested, we'd love to see you there as well.